Hello, welcome to Raid Lore Stories. Today's lore story is going to be for Magnar, which my Twitch chat highly asked me for this, very, very requested. So we're going to read his lore story together. Magnar was born in the age of Hellfire in the foothills of the Dawnmounts, the son of a blacksmith from a small old dragon colony called Akalu. He was taught honesty and dedication by his hardworking parents and grew up strong of arm, accustomed to the heat of the forge. Until Magnar reached early manhood, life was hard but peaceful. He loved his town and people and so never spoke of his boredom. But then the sorcerer, Davalo, came. He believed there was life in a dormant volcano close to Akalu and intended to use its raw heat to further his pyromatic research. A ruthlessly driven man, he thought nothing of the danger that reawakening the volcano would pose. Davalo stirred up the mountain's heart, and when the leaders of Akalu went to him and demanded he ceased, he refused, burning them to ash. In response, a militia was mobilized in Akalu, Magnar among them. He took up his great blacksmith's smelting hammer and pieces of cast iron from his armor shop. Strong, plain-speaking, and eager, he inspired his fellows, who dubbed him the Forge Warrior. He never spoke of excitement at the unfolding events. Despite the arming of the townsfolk, Davalo still refused to halt his experiments, and when the soldiers tried to seize him, he used the volcano's rumbling power to conjure fire spirits and magma golems to attack them. Most were killed, burning holes punched through them with flaming fists, or their flesh melted from the bones with blasts of primordial heat. A few, however, survived, Magnar among them, his armor and hammer well used to searing temperatures. Even then, he was horribly burned, kept standing only by adrenaline and hatred for the sores who had killed so many of his people. He forced his way to Devalo by sheer strength of will. The sorcerer laughed and told Magnar he was too good, too strong for this place. His talents could be put to greater causes, if he so wished. The forge warrior was tempted, but anger and loyalty saw him bring his enormous hammer down into Valo's head. In that instant, the fire-riven wizard became a cloud of ash, rather than a pulverized mush of flesh and bone. Magnar barely had time to acknowledge the bizarre death of the sorcerer when a voice entered his head. It said that he had done well, but he was too late. The sorcerer's work was finished and the volcano would erupt. Unless, that was, Magnar pledged his hammer, mind, and muscles to the voice. His ego stroked, the thrill of perhaps some new life being opened to him, as well as desire to save his town, all swayed Magnar. He did not know the voice was Siroth, and if he did, would not have known what that truly meant. He accepted the Shadow God channeled the fury of the mountain into Magnar, expended the energy as it fused with the man in the same instant that Siroth's magic warped him. Gone was the bold and honest young blacksmith. Now he stood transmuted, a creature of perpetual magma and fiery resolve. The instant this was complete, he made for a portal to Anheld and went to Siroth, who made him a demon spawn. Since that day, the former forge warrior has worked dutifully as Siroth's chief smelter and blacksmith. His former personality melted down by centuries of service in the workshops of Anathrad. And while the hammer that he still carries, he employs most often in beating white-hot metals into tools of war, he can use it just as easily to pulp the flesh and shatter the bones of Siroth's enemies. Okay, I, you know, I could buy this story. This makes sense. I like what they did with him, right? So now it makes sense why he has this hammer that he has here. He's, he started out as a blacksmith. And then after all these events that unfolded, he was tricked by Siroth, as happens, right? That does happen quite a bit in these lore stories. And so now he basically is, he's, he's crafting armor for the demon spawn. So I guess this makes sense, right, guys? Drop me a comment down below what you think for the lore story from Magnar. And thanks for watching.